Hi, I'm Lee Wind, an author. And I'm Paul Zielinski, an illustrator. And we're here to share with you for Barnes & Noble Storytime, our book, Red and Green and Blue and White. But first, Paul, your shirt is really cool. Well, thanks, Lee. Nice you mentioned it. My shirt actually happens to go with this book in a special way because I had the shirt made from part of the picture that I put in the book. See all these people, these red people linking arms in community? That's an image that's in the book. And when Lee reads the book, you might, if you're sharp eyed, you might get a chance to see it. And I'm wearing my favorite shirt too, which just coincidentally is red and green and blue and white. So let's get started, let's read it. Red and green and blue and white by me and Paul. Inspired by a true story. On a block dressed up in red and green, one house shone blue and white. Isaac helped his family decorate their big window for Hanukkah. Across the street, his best friend Teresa helped her family trim their Christmas tree. Isaac wrote poems, and here's his poem. Berries, pine, sky, snow, colors everywhere I go. And Teresa made art. They both loved playing in the snow, counting down to the holidays, six nights till Hanukkah, 23 days till Christmas, and thought you couldn't have too many sprinkles on a cookie. When it got dark, Teresa flipped the switch and her house glowed red and green. Across the street, Isaac lit his family's decorative menorah and his house glowed blue and white. And here's Isaac's poem, blue and white menorah light. Later, when it was dark and everyone was asleep, shadows approached Isaac's house. Smash, the window shattered, a stone, shards of glass falling. And Isaac, wide awake, watched their menorah flicker out. The adults talked and talked. You'll sleep in our room for now, his dad told Isaac and his sister. Isaac's mom asked, should we light the menorah again? If they didn't, Isaac knew it would be like hiding they were Jewish. That didn't feel right. The next night, Isaac lit the menorah and through the new window, his house glowed. And here's Isaac's poem. Blue and white, menorah light, shining bright. Across the street, Teresa watched the menorah come on and let out a breath. <sighs> she hadn't known she was holding. She took out paper and markers and drew. When she was done, Teresa added two words and put the drawing up in the window. For Isaac. Through the paper, the light shone blue and white. Isaac saw the drawing and ran outside. And here's a poem from Isaac. Blue and white, menorah light from two homes tonight. The idea grew with more drawings. Their friends joined in. Then their school and their library. Local stores joined in and restaurants and clubs. It was on TV 
and in the newspaper. Three weeks after Isaac and his family stood tall and Teresa and her family stood up by their side, their whole town was dressed up to celebrate the true spirit of the holidays, the true meaning of community. From more than 10,000 windows came Christmas tree and menorah light, red and green and blue and white, stronger together, shining bright. Recognize that? And that's red and green and blue and white. And one of the cool things that they were able in the real story to that really happened was put up 10,000 images of menorahs all over the town. And one of the ways they did that was that the local newspaper, the Billings Gazette, published a full page image. This is a copy of it, of the, an editorial and this image of the menorah. And it, everybody in the town that got the paper was able to put this up in their window. And, Paul did this beautiful thing on the final author's note page. There is a little illustration of Teresa opening the paper and seeing that illustration. 